and we are live good morning good morning to you how you doing out there traders and uh people out there mark easy aka the djv trader time to rise and shine get up in the morning time it is uh getting crazy in the markets today it's time for the pre-market playlist uh looking for stocks moving and grooving in the market uh sucks because uh movement definitely makes you money so uh definitely we gotta just wait a little bit uh let some people get into the chat room and see what we can do and figure out a plan today because it's all about uh, going to eight that's right ape that's analyze plan and execute that's what we do here on the channel so we look for opportunities in the market uh that can definitely limit your risk and maximize your profits uh man this <clears throat> futures got halted that's the first time i think i ever saw futures get halted so market definitely will be volatile today so make sure you size correctly and mitigate your risk as we always say and definitely uh, we'll try to see if we can come up with a game plan to get you guys some uh, money today money, money, money. that's right that's what we want we'll find some uh trades we can get in with a uh, limited risk but uh, like i said let me check the chat room let some people get in while i get everything set up Let's pop up the chat and uh, here. you can already see the spy man let me maximize this for you guys so you can see it spy closed at 297 on friday you see we hit a low of 275.67 man it is getting hammered trying to catch a bounce here you can see uh couldn't cross this 200 on the one minute <clears throat> and just getting rejected and we're going to test this 275 67 we'll see if we uh break that low pre-market low before the open we got uh, 23 minutes uh, to the open so we will check that out for sure and see what happens there um we want to at least break this 281 to get uh any kind of bullish momentum maybe a bounce in the market i'm looking for but uh doesn't look like you can beat it yet let's see you can see i was trying to test it here this 281 area a couple times all right just trying to get everything set up here yada, 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 yada. Yeah, yeah. all right so we want to get over this 281.67 to get any kind of <clears throat> remote bounce but uh break up this 275.67 which is the the pre-market low we could see a 266 on the bottom side 266.10 261.39 and maybe even 249 250 area if the thing goes crazy i've got a feeling <clears throat> when the market opens sooner or later uh stop losses are going to get fired off so you're going to get some kind of a bounce and I don't know if we'll get any buying into that bounce to continue the movement upwards but we'll just wait and see let's look at the daily chart here you can see we're already down to what we said like 276 this area so we are like right around this area here 276 you can see this wick of this candle back in uh, may or say june is 273.09 you could catch a bounce here at open on the with a wick with this wick down here if not uh, maybe all the way to this 259 260 area i'm not sure uh, markets are crazy so as far as longer term who knows we could test this 233 which is the low back in december 2018 when the market just kind of dropped and we thought we we're going to go into a recession but look what happened there hit new highs all-time highs over uh, 300 and just kept going so you never know with this market you just gotta take what it gives you and just chill out <clears throat> so watch this 275.67 on the spy for sure my hot pick was uh exxon mobile oil just crashing down the freaking <clears throat> crude oil futures were got hammered hammered and uh, exxon was just a part of it so see this big drop i know i set some levels uh, last night but these all got slammed down i believe on the daily break of that 48 i said we could hit uh 34 13 but let's look at the intraday 
so what i'll do take the drop from this 47.90 high to this 39 dollar low now we want to get over this uh 41.10 and this 200 which is 41.37 uh, uh resistance if we get over that we could push up and catch some kind of bounce maybe to this 43.45 if not uh, come back down test this 39 and uh maybe get down to this 35 mark and then this daily support of 34.13 so we'll watch this 39 uh, mark for sure on the uh, intraday and see what happens there uh twitter had some news i it's one of the few that hit my up scanner today uh Twitter to partner with Silver Lake Elliott Management and conduct two billion in buyback. So we had a little pop with Twitter from 30 up to uh, 3350 almost, but you can see right back down. I don't know if this was like an algo buy or something. Eh. Decent volume for pre market, but <clears throat> you see, it just went 3350 all the way back down to 31.50 so we'll see what happens at the open we might want to watch this i got some uh <clears throat> daily levels here we could watch uh, this 36.20 is a 200 sma probably up here somewhere still far away so maybe want to watch uh these levels i believe this is a gap these purple levels are gap yeah was a gap fill area yeah, back here it was a gap fill but it's already kind of crowded in the gap fill area so maybe a hold of this 31 32 39 and 31 68 yeah if you get back over this 31 68 that gap area it might uh have room to run so let's watch this 31 68 for either a pop or a drop on that and uh go from there <clears throat> anything you want to see any tickets you want me to analyze in the pre-market just let me know and uh we'll do that for you guys now let's look at the market leader apples just getting hammered 263 close that uh, 289 and we're at 263 so you're talking about what 20 25 26 points loss so <clears throat> we definitely want to figure this out let's go from let's pull a blank chart up so we can let's, let's go from pre-market that high to that low <clears throat> so i put some a uh, couple levels in here we can just see what we want to work with so you can see 272 60 high 263 low uh if we get over this 272 definitely it's a gap bill so this thing could rip from 272 60 lots of room to run but we got to get up there first and the first mark is this uh 267 80, 50 retracement but as you can see came down tried to hold that hit this 266 this 267 became resistance came all the way down all the way down now we're, we're here at uh, 26306 and we need to get over this 265 31 first of all to get any kind of bullish momentum going but it seems like it's just making lower high lower high lower high so if we do break that 263306 we could see uh 25911 maybe a test of the 260 uh whole dollar mark and uh, from there we'll just uh see what happens so definitely want to keep an eye on that as well so uh let's see what else is going off today let's watch that area i'll put apple um gold man gold wow let's look at gold gold to stop uh, what ticker would that what you want me to look at uh henry gold Good morning to you, by the way. Oh boy, we'll see if gold pops up on anything. Um, 
everything else going down we'll see if gold pops up today uh give me that ticker if uh you want me to look at a certain chart for you and i can do it for you g-o-l-d bear gold or um uh, the futures let me know i'll, I'll definitely uh gld gld okay GLD. oh gld here we go let's look at the daily chart first of all yeah this thing hit high of this 160 20. so as far as long term we definitely find support here at 156 90 161 41 where are we yeah so we want to get over this 161 41 level to keep on uh moving up uh-uh <clears throat> But this 156.90 is also a base here. So, but as far as intraday, if you're trying to look for something uh, today, try, let's say 15 minute. Let's take this low to high here. It's a 154.54 to this 160.20. Now you can already see this 157.38 right here is a 50% retracement. So it's definitely holding that. You can see tested it multiple times here. Broke a little bit down here, but you see the bounce coming in with that. Let me add in a little couple more fibs for you so we can get some uh, better levels for you to trade off of. Uh, so one, we definitely want to hold this 157.38 because it's been a support and it's been holding <clears throat> kind of choppy here, but this is a pre-market and after hours. So uh, not much, that much volume. So here's some levels to trade off of. We definitely want to hold this, uh, 157.38 but right now it's above this 158.40 i mean 158.04 so hold this 158.04 uh test 158.87 and then test this high of 160.20 and we'll see what if it can break over this 160.20 we're looking very good for more upside is that all-time highs no 185 way back in 2010 but over this uh 160 what do we say 160 20 this high it could uh, definitely run but uh watch these levels first uh level 50 15804 to hold if it can't hold this it might test this uh 157.38 for a bounce here 50 percent retracement is a strong level so we could see movement back up from there and then watch for this test of 160 21 on the high side uh past that we could get into rip mode and uh definitely uh it could uh, take off. Today's market is getting slammed. I think SPY just broke uh, low 257, 275, 275.51. So not looking good at the pre-market, but definitely uh, watch those levels. No problem. <laughs> I'm just trying to get you that money. money, 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 money. crazy crazy you never know what's gonna happen coronavirus all these uh, oil crashing market slamming down like i said a lot of opportunities to be made to make some money so let's look at the spy once again in case you missed that one you see spy is uh, breaking lows just oh man this thing broke that low of 275.67 this thing is just freaking ready. Just blowing it right now. Oof, I don't know where we're gonna catch a bounce. Like I said, maybe uh, let's squeeze it. This 27309. Like if you look at the daily chart, a lot of times these wicks <clears throat> mean that it got bought up hard. so it'll serve as a support not that big a wick but you can see 273 possibly if not this 233 is crazy to see it will test this low of 2018 in december but never know 259 and then you got the weekly weekly 200 at 263 so that might be a support also it might bounce off the weekly but at this point i don't know Apple's letting loose. Everything's letting loose to the downside, man. This thing is just crazy, crazy <clears throat> stuff going on. Hopefully we don't get a market crash. Like that. <laughs> but 
all we can do is uh given uh take what's given to us so we'll we'll be watching the market and see what happens today uh, but thanks for uh chiming in and uh, yeah I'm already make sure to smash the buttons for me that's right uh, like the videos you can comment subscribe to the channel hit that uh, bell notifies you anytime i go live like this for the pre-market playlist or all that good stuff so definitely keep it locked in and uh keep subscribing tell a friend about it uh, and keep the channel growing movement money equals freedom right and that's all we want is uh freedom to do what we want to do in life so uh that's what we're all about here so maybe we'll check into the uh chat room and see what these fellows are talking about and check that out right now in fact as we get about 10 minutes into the market about to open Tom, three weeks worth of work shit <sighs> what are we doing here today i have no idea <laughs> no, me neither i'm not i haven't even looked at the fucking market yet. i'm scared to look at it <laughs> I might wait for that bounce and take a shot put. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know, this thing just cracked new low. Two seventy five ten it hit. It broke that two for seventy five sixty seven, so I don't know. It's scary. It is scary. Mm -hmm. Big spy. Good old spy. It's down twenty one fucking dollars, bro. Yeah, that's insane. Twenty one seventy is down. Good god. That's a hell of a gap down, man. Yeah, Apple looks hella weak too. Apple's at hit 26233. The RSI on the five minutes like 21. And there ain't caught a bounce. My, <laughs> all my charts, all my charts are fucked up right now. Yeah. <laughs> all mine are showing like from the close of Friday. Yeah. I'm gonna log out and log back in. Maybe it'll fix it. What happened? Definitely see what happens at the open. We got like eight minutes. Twenty-two twenty-seven. Holy shit. Fifty-two week seventy-two forty-two, bro. Insane. If that hits it, if it goes under that shit, oh man, we're gonna see a bloodbath from hell. I mean, a true bloodbath under the 52 week low. Yeah. Oh boy. The North. God damn, did I just see that? Shop's down 40 fucking dollars, man. <laughs> That's insane. Forty motherfucking dollars. And my dad took a five twenty a five twenty-five call on Friday. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. <laughs> what up? James! What up? You fuck. <laughs> Travis, you Yeah, you're fucked too. Mm -hmm. At least we're on the same uh, understanding. <laughs> uh, we always are, my friend. We always are. Ugh. I think I'm just cash today. I think I'm just gonna sit here and watch. <laughs> I'm probably gonna play a spy for Monday. Expiration, the day expiration. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that'll be fun. I'll wait for, I'll wait for the bounce up and then fucking take it down. Fuck it. I remember yesterday at some point I was looking at my my phone and I was like, "Yep, Dow futures down like four, like six hundred. Like that's totally expected. Like, of course it's down six hundred after this oil shit." And then I went to bed. I went to bed and I woke up at like two in the morning, and I was just like, "All right, well I'm awake now, so I'll take a quick glance. Down thirteen hundred. Fucking what? <laughs> Holy shit!" <laughs> I was just like, "All right, I guess I'm not fucking trading today." <laughs> that's fucking crazy, man. Fucking, I was just like, okay, all right, down thirteen hundred. So let's see what that would have done to TVIX. And then I flip it up. I was like, it, it's probably going to be over two hundred, you know, because it was at like one ninety something earlier in the week. And I was like, all right, let me take a look at that. Over three hundred. Fucking what? <laughs> you always play TVIX, bro. What the fuck? 
<laughs> yeah, but I mean, that's that's a I, I day trade that shit. I don't hold that shit. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Man, ima imagine if I'd held that shit. <laughs> oh my god, you'd be fucking, you'd be up millions. <laughs> oh my god, it's it's just fucking crazy. Like, absolutely, I think the combination of this of this OPEC failure plus coronavirus. I mean, this has got to be the recession catalyst that, I, that I've been fucking waiting for for like two years. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you guys are downside. No, it's going. I'm telling you, it's going to go down. It's going to go down. Oh, not yet. Yeah for, crash, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for ages I was like that, and I, I never really realized just uh, just how little it was lacking in terms of confirmation, you know, because I was just like, all right, it's overextended. Yeah, it, of course it's fucking overextended, but what does that mean if there's nothing to push it back down? And finally, finally we have our, uh, we have our catalyst. It's the, you know, it's the combination of, of these catalysts plus the fact that Spy never really retested any support. I mean, I think there was a brief support a couple weeks ago. And then other than that, I mean, it's, that's why I just... If Spy, if Spy breaks that 52 week low, it's gonna fucking really drop. Well, I mean, I think if it goes down another... Another two and a half percent today. The triggers a fifteen minute halt on the market, and then I think if it drops twenty percent total, then it's just a flat out stop on trading for the day. Yep. But these are new circuit breakers that have never been uh, been implemented before. They were put in in twenty thirteen, but they were never actually triggered. Well, now they are. They soon will be. It's crazy, man. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be absolutely fucking crazy. Surprised my dad hasn't called me yet. What the fuck? You told me to take a shop call. Look, it's down forty dollars already. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Dad. I'm sorry, Dad. The, the economy is ending. <laughs> sorry, Dad. I can't, I can't help you with that, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> He's just now getting in. My, my shit's good with the economy. It's actually functioning. <laughs> Dad, my dad's just now starting to get into options, you know. Starting to learn how to trade options. And uh, it's just, he, he, he makes some money, he loses some money. Makes some money, he loses some money. Yeah. So. We got the uh, two minutes to market open. Uh, we'll see what happens. Buy uh, broke this 275.67 level. Hit this 273.92. What level was it looking for? 273.09 on the daily right here. Looking for possible bounce. Uh, we'll see if anything sets in at the open. Twitter kind of holding its area. Apple. What else we want to look at today? Uh, just the market in general, I guess. Uh, you guys uh, want to see anything? Uh, anything? Let me know. We'll see what's going on with the market. Uh, we'll see if we can get a test of this 275.67, then maybe a move back down. Maybe we could pop high as high as this. Uh, if we ramp into this VWAP 277 area, might want to take a, a put. We'll see how the contract settle in in about a minute or so after the market opens it always takes a little bit for everything to settle in so we'll we'll hold off and uh see what happens what's going on with things as we come into the market open about one minute one minute we'll watch us uh, we'll definitely watch spy apple we'll watch twitter as he got the news so there might be something that might possibly pop up in the market uh, also maybe zoom Let's watch Zoom. Zoom took a big hit as well. Trying to bounce off this 104 area, but uh, you can see by already kind of getting rejected off of that level. We're about 30 seconds into the market open. I, I got a feeling this is going to be very volatile. Whip sigh, definitely uh, at the open. So we'll definitely watch uh, these levels here that we got set in and see how these contracts uh settle in at the open about uh six seconds into the open good luck uh we'll blow that horn off for you 
and we'll try and make sure. Um, 275.67, we're watching. And these contracts even tradable, nothing's even opening on the contracts yet. As far as think or swim stuff, stuff are popping in right now. Um, I don't know what these levels are yet trying to hold this uh pre-market previous pre-market low i should say 275 67 level uh nothing moving on my contracts yet on uh think or swim just trying to watch the spreads what everything's gonna open at these things should be like crazy pricing uh zoom pushing down Buy trying to pop up testing the backside of this VWAP now. 275s are hella expensive. I don't see nothing even moving. Anybody even trading anything? Not sure what's going on with these contracts, but I see the ones that expired today. Yeah, everything is kind of sitting right now. Here we go. Some contracts are finally settling in and opening. Um, just see, wait and see. Trying to hold this 275 67 as support right now. Um, there it goes. Some contracts settling in, but these spreads are still bananas. Not making any sense yet. 23 on the bid and 10 bucks on the ass. Yeah, it's, they're not making any sense right now. <laughs> so we're just sending on hands see what happens you get any volume it is a monday as well so zoom pushing down what's apple doing apple trying to catch a bounce with the market as well not much of a bounce here not much volume we're watching here let's push this down trying to find support um <clears throat> and then no there goes a uh, spy now we watch this uh 27785 level um, as it is the 200 so we'll watch that level and see what happens here this 270 ooh, six dollars yeah this is wrong they don't want you to trade this 270s are Spread is three dollars and four dollars now. Contracts kind of settling in. Nothing I want on the trade at the moment. Till this market uh, kind of settles in within itself. We'll just watch and wait and not anticipate. Here we go. Contracts are moving. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see if Apple contracts are any better. We can't get nothing with the spy. Let's look at this week's contract. These are kind of settled in. I don't know why the spy is so. These spreads are crazy though. Dollar something. There's a rejection of this 200 on. Uh, Apple. All oh, these contracts are kind of settling in. Let's look at the spy. Spy contract still nothing available. I gotta go with Apple for now. Then maybe get a play. Two sixty seven. Let's look at some. Ugh, why is this thing zeroing out on the bids? It's halted. The market just halt. Entire market. <laughs> What's going on here? just happened yeah did everything just halt i think the halt just happened yep. yeah everything froze yep i think just uh 
Broke the market. Yep. But there wasn't a... Maybe, maybe it was pre-planned because I don't think it would have triggered otherwise. Apple shares halted on circuit breaker. Yep. Okay, there you go. I don't know about what else. Everything halted? Bye. Yeah. Bye is halted. I just saw Adidas is halted too. It's all halted. Everything's got to be halted because you know what? It's fucking everything. Everybody halted. Halted. So fucking much. S&P's future halted. Limit down for 15 minutes. Yep, there you go. That's crazy. That's the first time <laughs> I've ever seen that. I know, yeah. I seen all the bids like on the contracts go to zero. Huh? I was like, and then everything just stopped. I was like, <laughs> the whole market just stopped. Not, yeah, <laughs> not crazy. not one stock, everything just stopped. <laughs> yep, that's what I'm saying. Everything. <laughs> wow, crazy, yeah. right? Well, well, guys, you're just seeing something that you'll never see again, probably. Yep. <laughs> History in the making, you just, baby. You just you just seeing history. <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy. They don't want everybody to pull out their money. They're trying to if, rack up dude, some money. If there's if there's a halt though, my God, Spy's gonna fucking tank the moment it reopens. Damn it! I should have took them puts. I think. I mean, that's my, that's my assumption. Obviously, I think it's gonna tank the moment it opens. I think that's why it never. Those spreads, they weren't even settling in on any of the contracts because I guess they just wanted you to not get in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everybody in the chat is like, what, what is this, guys? What are we playing? This is insane. I don't think I ever saw everything just halt. I've never seen the whole entire market halt. Never. Yeah. Be and something. I've been trading. I've been trading for at least 10 years. That's yeah, fucking crazy. The whole entire market just halted. Saying, screw you, everybody. They don't know what the fuck to do about it. You know, you know why they halted it? Because all the fucking big league guys, they have their their breakers at a certain point, and they have to fucking give them time to reset all their calculations. Because if, if all their stop limits hit, that shit will tank fucking another 30 points in a matter of minutes. That would shut down the entire market for the day if that happens. Yep. The market will be entirely closed. That's why. That's why they just did a halt like that because they don't want the fucking market to do that. They're, they're allowing all the brokers, the big time brokers, reset Try everything that they reset everything they need to set. You know. Well, I don't know. It's crazy though. They definitely don't want it to fall through the floor while they're stuck in it with all their money. What? Yeah. World money, you know what I mean? Yeah. Fucking not just fucking. That's just not pennies. That's fucking world money. <laughs> yeah. What's going on, everybody? Hey. What's up? Just we're just enjoying the discussion of holy shit. Something in the making, history in the making, right now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh shit is correct. Uh, I mean, it's, yeah. it's it's expected. Yeah. It's a long time overdue. Well, I mean, I, I don't mean the market halting as a whole is a long time overdue. I just no, mean no, I'm the, saying, the I'm circuit saying, breaker like, was whole, expected. Like, everything, like everything crashing, not uh, like, you know, yeah. everything that I had to pull back is now pulling back to the point where it needs to be. <laughs> Dang, that's crazy. So, what, well, we got 15 minutes, I assume, right? Yep. 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 My account glitched. Stock trading halted for 15 minutes after the S&P created 7%. God damn. Well, I think there's there's one more condition. Um, hang on a second. Level 2 circuit breaker, if it, de if it declines 13%, it will again pause for 15 minutes if the drop occurs before 3.25 p.m. Eastern. So if it happens anytime after 3.25, then it will not halt. But... Otherwise, yeah, it'll halt for another 15 minutes, and then finally, if it hits 20%, it will stop for the entire day. Is that what it's saying? That would be fucking crazy. So what happens if you have positions open and it stops? You're, you have, you're like, fucking, you're stuck with, <laughs> you're stuck with those positions. What if my, like, expire today? Um, again, you're stuck with those positions. What the fuck? <laughs> because your dude, your money is not impor as important as global money. Like that's what Travis and I were just saying. And Mark, you know, it's this is fucking global economy money we're talking about now. Yeah, they got they got to protect all like, that money. Like like Jonathan said earlier, 
two, uh, 2008 crash, you know, that was that was the market crashing from those subprime loans, and that was the global economy. It's the same. It's the same thing. So my shit just expired worthless. I mean, that, that's, that's, assuming, that's assuming that the day that that the day would would halt permanently. Like right now, it's just halted for 15 minutes. Right, I, I get yeah. that, but your still. shit would be done. You'd be yeah. ex- exterminated. You would be terminated. Yes. And you would not be back. That's bullshit. <laughs> What does this thing based on the? Oh, I think that's what you're talking about. We'll apply for today based on this pick's levels. Yeah. Level one, seven percent. Yeah. Fifteen minute halt. Thirteen percent. Fifteen minute halt. Level three, twenty percent. Trading suspended for the day. Yeah. And right now, by the way, uh, U.S. dollar is cratering as well. <laughs> oh boy. This could be. Boy, <laughs> it's gonna be a long day. It's gonna be a great day. What the fuck are you talking about? Give me a great day. I'm not even trading. I'm fucking loving this shit. <laughs> yeah, I have, I'm just I have sitting here watching puts. the beauty. Yeah, I have oil puts. It's crazy right now. Seven percent. Watch. Fucking crazy. This thing's gonna be history like freaking. History in the making. Well, history in the making. Let's okay. see. Let's see what happens. Only well, we got four more minutes until it reopens. All right. Christ, dude. Imagine oil just tanks. Oh no, Champagne Poppy bought the same day expirations. Oh no, is he fucking dead? He's probably fucking dead. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. I honestly think I'm gonna have him install my Discord. I don't know why it keeps cutting off my conversations. So, uh, I've been doing that for a while. Because we don't like you. Yeah, <laughs> it's because I'm you not feeling so, I'm not feeling some magic in my pants today. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 15 minutes. Oh, that's crazy. I don't yep. know if you just bitch open, dude. Oh, you know, dude everybody's gonna gonna it's gonna be hysterical. Hold. It's gonna be fucking amazing. It's, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna halt as soon as it opens again. Guaranteed. Uh, well, I, I'd say it probably beat me after like 10 minutes. Probably. <laughs> no, I don't even give it that. Really? Give it, you think it's gonna halt almost immediately? Wow. Yeah, because everybody's gonna pull. The, everybody's already got their sell orders in. True. They're yeah, like, I mean, fuck that. I'm getting the fuck out before. I'm getting the fuck out before this thing drops another fucking 50 points. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're probably right. So this day is probably going to be shit. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to be sitting here talking about it the whole goddamn time, and we ain't even going to get to trade today, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> that pisses me off. Dang, that's crazy. I'm going to pull my money out of these motherfucking brokers and out of the banks and just fucking cash out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, gold, and silver. gold, silver, and guns. Oh, guns <laughs> guns is it. the way to go. And bullets. <laughs> bullets. Oh, shitload of bullets. James, let me know when the market's about to open again. Uh, you got about a minute yeah, left. Like a minute and a half left. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I want to see this shit open. <laughs> Has the market ever halted? The whole market ever halted ever before? I think uh, JMH. That's Jonathan, right? Is it Jonathan or Jim? I think it's Jonathan. Anyway, he was saying that it halted in 2008. Okay. So we're going into a financial crisis right now, then. In, in terms of how fast this is happening, yeah, definitely. Shit ton of people are going to lose their jobs. Yep. So I was watching a guy talk about a credit freeze, and uh, he said there was one around 2008. Do you know? You guys know how long that lasted? I don't even know what that is. Yeah, he's saying it'll shut down the. Uh, the it's bank. open. You won't be able to. You won't be able to make transactions. That would be fucking crazy. Shit like that. I'm glad I got all cash in my pocket. I think we're. Op- uh, well, we will be open in a minute or less. <laughs> What I'm doing, I'm watching this shit for a couple of minutes. Take a downside <laughs> real fast. <laughs> All right, here we go. About to start. Yeah. Two fifty. It'll be that. 
That would be fucking nuts. <laughs> be fucking crazy. Holy shit. Loser! You're right, a loser! Are, are you feeling sorry for yourself? Well, yet. you should be, because you are dirt! You make me <laughs> sick, you big baby! Might be seven. It might be nine forty-six because it did open for a minute. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was open for a while. It says the call on the time was six thirty-two forty-nine. It popped up on my news feed, so maybe forty-seven, forty-eight. Hmm. Um, whatever. But other than that, how are you guys doing today? <laughs> I'm doing great now. This is gonna be a fun day to watch. I thought today was gonna be a boring Monday. This is gonna be a fun day. No, you're so against everybody, James. <laughs> I know, but in my defense, fuck everybody. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment. God damn it! <laughs> I've been, I've been, I can feel it coming in the air tonight. All right, I've been waiting. <laughs> The drum sound in that song is the sound of the market crashing. Let's go. Open up. Let's see it. Spike. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. I'm fucking crazy. Ignore me. Busting down what? <laughs> I'm sitting here watching. I just I was looking at a chart and I don't think I ever actually noticed the volume bar before and I just noticed it and I was like, oh look, movement. <laughs> nope. I'm just I just need more coffee. We're good. Jackass. Yep. Getting everybody excited over here. No goddamn I'm, reason. I'm bored. What do you want from me? <laughs> percent be uh, 258 ish area around there 20 percent on the day around that area 20 percent would be for today 230 ooh, 237 jesus christ in time it's open at 250 bro you will see 250 is like the next support down from 275 <clears throat> this thing should be open so Six thirty-two forty-nine. I'll give it two minutes before the market is locked back up. As soon as it opens. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm, I'm inclined to agree with you at this point. I got to tell my brother to buy a shop. <laughs> Maybe, maybe wait until it starts consolidating on the on the fucking daily after this nonsense. It's a long term investment. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Go, boys. Mm -hmm. oh, it doesn't even move. No. Bullshit. Yeah, didn't really do anything. That was underwhelming. <laughs> that was no that was no fun. Yeah, these contracts are stupid. They're going like three dollar of the bid, seventy cents. God damn, dude. Yeah, that's two seventy six 
276 puts right now for SPY for today's expiration is $2 and $15. Oh no. There yeah. we go. Now it's six. Yeah, $2 yeah. and $15. They're fucking with the spread. They don't want you in. <laughs> I might try to buy it at fucking $2. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's see if we can get it. Try 250 at 80 cents. <laughs> Today. I'm going to try. 250. 83 cents. I got one of my contracts in there for 250. Let's see if it picks it up. I'll try to sell it for nine right away. <laughs> Ooh, there's a crack of lows again. Something just fucking happened. I think yeah, spy popped really hard. Fucked up, so this is awesome. Did spy just like explode? Yeah, it popped up to the upside off of that. Broke down wow. and it popped up like three points. That's crazy. Thing is just like bananas. <laughs> dumb. Anybody else got Robin Hood? Can't do shit. Nah, I don't use Robin Hood. Yeah, I usually don't either. I'm trying to get all my shit out of it, but uh, these silver contracts are still there and. Can't do spreads on Weed Wolf. Okay, stuff is settling in kind of now. Popping. I said 280. I'll have to wait till 280 and then fucking take that shit down, son. Seven seventy six. We'll see. Let's see if we get over that. Right here is a test. Wait, wait. Seven, seven, two eighty. Come on, hit that two eighty. Man, my charts and my level twos are way <coughs> off. Two eighty two. Fuck it, I'll wait till it hits the 50 day movement average. Oh, 282, fuck. 66. Whoa. Let's spread like 89 cents and 182 now. What the fuck? What are you looking at? No, I'm looking at the. For March 11, I was looking at the 250 contracts. But like, it's like the spread is like 20 cents and then it's like 80 cents. <laughs> That's why you gotta put that limit. That's why you gotta put that limit order in there and fucking you know. try to split big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think Robin is fucked again. Awesome. I should have just took all the shit out and went there. Everything else is out there cheap. There's no 
damn sense to me, Jake. Motherfucker. That's so dumb. People in the market are like, yeah, this, these young kids with this Robin Hood account, they can't be trading today. We're going to freeze it. Robin Hood. <coughs> we didn't have real money in the market today. <coughs> you know when the spy gets to 280, so I can take a short. Pop up over highs 278 75 270 ooh ripping 279 279 20 279 50 yeah i'm looking at you you get to just 40 280 almost right now i might have to wait till that 52 week high or 52 <laughs> week, uh, the 50 day moving average i don't know that's what's moving to that's where we have to be fast right there's a shit ton of money. Quick. Hey, Mark, at least we couldn't trade really quick at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. We weren't trigger happy today. <laughs> they, open. they open like that every morning. <laughs> I'll do a 15, personal 15 minute halt. US dollar also just rocketed. Fucking crazy, guys. Pushing it up, pushing it up. They're trying to hold it. I up. feel bad for anybody who was holding puts a minute ago. Like, like that got puts right before the fucking halt. If they were even able to, for that matter. back here we'll see after the rip natural pull back see if we can get back up over highs
time to trade yet or what? <laughs> Fuck if I know. So upset. This is bullshit. <laughs> An idiot. And I'm up like four hundred dollars right now. I can't do anything. So stupid. Dang. Why does it could pop or drop in any moment? I know. Plus hitting Netflix popping up. Just watching the market, see what's happening. Kind of pulling back, but it's kind of slow moving. See what happens here. Not too sure. Looks like he wants to try and pop back up, but we'll see.
感じ。up now trying to get some bullish momentum let's see though <laughs> kind of engulfing candle here trying to push up now looks like it yeah us dollar is ripping up too five minute candles getting big on the spy testing this 281 Push, trying to push up right now. <clears throat> See if we get a hold of this level, or is it a false break? Trying to push up. Let's see. There you go. Looks like it wants to try and pop now. I think it goes up to 285. I act, I honestly think it's gonna go way back up, but yeah, I think I think it'll be. see i think they're just trying to pump the money back in not let it fall but i'm surprised we didn't dip down way further yeah i think we were all expecting it to uh to open lower after the halt yeah Don't want to go up now. 
to the big candle. Gotta hold this breakout level of 281, 12, bro. struggling to hold this uh 281.12 breakout area if it can't hold it's gonna fall a little bit but we'll see 281 doesn't look like it wants up break of this previous candle under 280.50 280.50 gotta let it go but uh, we'll see looks like it wants to try and hold there we go 281.26 24 then right back down my charts not look equaling with my level two for some reason we got two minutes to this five minute candles ends Representative of the freaking thing, though. It's my thing. 281 again. 11, 20, Everything of mine seems lagging, my like level twos and everything seems like it's lagging for some reason compared to what's going on. So we'll see. This thing is all laggy. 282. I 
thing is at 280, 215. Is she going without her? Like nothing's working out. Like uh, stop it. What if this pulls up? these contracts these contracts don't make sense it's moving up when the contracts are moving down money because of this stuff get it together and communicate
All right, back to the stream. Had to drop the kid off at school, so uh, got stopped out of that spy put for a loss. Now it's going my way. I think it hunted my stop loss. So. Oh well, let's see what happens in the market here. Pulling back below VWAP, uh, just as I thought, just as I suspected. But being that I had to put a hard stop, I got stopped out. This thing is actually where I needed it to be, but gotta wait and see what happens.
What up, Mark? Ah, chilling. I got stopped out of it before it dropped this damn spy. Oh, you were writing it up? No, I was taking it down. It's pulling back down now, isn't it? Yeah, under this, I had this 281.12 that it was testing, so I took, but I had to drop the kid off at school, and then it, it just hunted my stop loss and just hit it and then came down. Damn. Ah, eh, small That's loss, but still, it's like, I bought way out because I wasn't trying to play anything, like, expensive today. <laughs> right. So I had, like, two fifties at, like, <clears throat> for, not today, but for Wednesday. I took Walmart downside. That thing popped up pretty big. Oh, damn, really? Yeah, now I'm just looking for something to just... <sighs> See what's going on with everything. Spy seems to be coming down. Let's see if it breaks this on to um, 200 on the minute, which is 277.99. Is that what bounced it? Uh, that was a resistance at the open. Right. But let me see. I know they're trying to prop it up, but um, yeah, we gotta expect some kind. Of Here's a push back up. Contracts are all hella expensive though. Yeah, they are. Like two sixty five is like three dollars. Yeah, anything near the money you're looking. Yeah. Two sixty five is like thirteen dollars away for Wednesday is like three bucks. I'm like, jeez. see a bounce candle and I'm talking on a weekly scale. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This two seventy three oh nine is 
that wick of that candle i was talking about on the daily then 263.74 is the a weekly 200 yep yep oh is that you no no it's me oh i hear something going bling, bling. yeah <laughs> what are you taking i know i'm selling i know right now it's kind of going down so i'm taking my profits i made a fucking ton of money on this thing already beautiful so i'm like fuck it it's going down i'm taking it now before it keeps going <laughs> right I mean, I don't think anything is safe, right? No, it's a, uh, and uh, I mean, it's more than I kind of figured I'd get out of it, but I figured I'd hold it till like, you know, what is it? I forget. Thursday, I think, is their, uh, um, earnings report. I didn't want to hold through that shit for sure. Right. Shit. Of course this ain't working here. Now everything's kind of syncing up. The thing wasn't like between my level two and everything wasn't even like synced up earlier. My think or swim. Like everything was off the candles compared to the price compared to the level two. Really? Everything seemed like it was disconnected for a second. Like either something was lagging or something was ahead. So I was looking, why is my contracts like freaking these things going down when my contracts is freaking losing? Did this get halted again? It did. What? What did? Oh, I know. I know got halted again. What is it under fourteen? Yeah, it went to thirteen seventeen. So it's halted at. I just locked in most of it. I got a couple, I got some shares and like one, uh, one contract left, but I made like a thousand bucks today on it at least probably. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, that was like a three dollar, two, three dollar drop. Walmart pushing it on me. Pushing up. Yeah. I've got a couple. Of, actually, now I got like three contracts still. And it's looking halted, so I can't do shit. Costco pushing up too. Uh, popped up and flagging. Spy testing. On the one minute, this will be the first break now. I'm trying to hold in 278.
up and everything is fucking Robin Hood when it halts it tells you it's like whatever your contracts with whatever the fucking stock is worth <laughs> say that again it's it's it like goes it says like everything's all the contracts are worth like what one fucking share of stock is worth so I was up it's not showing me accurately what I'm making today because I already I locked up 800 and something dollars and shit a couple minutes ago and it says I'm losing 10% today and I'm going bullshit I made fucking like 40% on my account I think so it's just them glitching basically well I did it every time every time it halted today it's done that it's just kind of weird how it, but I, I see kind of Weird shit with with other brokers too, but I don't know. It's kind of weird. Anyway, just trying to get out of some shit, and I'm stuck. You get your shit together over there. Yeah, well, this is. I don't even care because it's fucking. It was a couple hundred bucks. That remember that time where you were stuck in something? It was like a year and a half ago. Here we're going again. Yeah. Um, and uh, it fucking locked up. And uh, I took all my money out. I had a couple, I had like a contract that I couldn't get rid of. So there's a couple hundred bucks or something in the account. And I've just been playing with that. Right. And I'm up to two grand. Nice. <laughs> So, hey, it's fucking just play money. It's there. It's fucking house money, you know? I took all my money out. So, why not, why not just play with an extra account, you know? <laughs> That's how I look at it. Now, oh, shit. These contracts went negative, so I might hold them. Am I going to crack that area? Uh, trying to hold 278. <clears throat> Let me call my wife. I think she's got coronavirus. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's complaining of flu symptoms. She didn't go to work. and bounce off this area. 78. <clears throat> See what happens here.
for now. Push up. Ooh. Yeah, this freaking thing is just like. Wow, what a jump off that level. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's not even like it moving up, but it's like the contract. Like I have like a like a put contract and it just like disintegrates, like not even on a volatile move. Right. Like the the contract just gets freaking sucked down. Like you push it up there and it's like already down like 40, 50 bucks on a three hundred dollar contract. What is that like? 20% or something down like 20% on one candle move well I'm getting killed on Walmart right yeah that's what I mean. these, these contracts are like kind of weird today like I know the volatility maybe because the volatility maybe the freaking whatever that crushes them things are getting crushed quick like if it goes against you like it just crushes you <laughs> real quick yeah over 2950 now. Might not even trade today. These contracts seem like they're weird. Like the movements on them. They don't seem correct. Definitely playing against you. All right, I'm back, fellas. What's up? Uh. What up? What up? We ain't shit. Just holding these uh same day uh puts for us. Bye. That was a big bounce off of that. Huh? Yeah, I know. I'm watching it right now. <clears throat> two seventy nine. What? Two seventy nine. Yeah. It was a 280 test. Sam is correct. VWAP test again. On the spy. <clears throat> yeah. mm -hmm. 279, what, 40 ish? Yeah. 21 on the VWAP, just bounced off of it. Let's see. Two. 280 reject we're around 280 reject let's see if it comes back up and breaks over 280 then ugh, it might start moving up at one point i was up 50 bucks on the contract now i'm like down two dollars <laughs> with this bounce i should have i should have fucking closed i don't know why i didn't close <laughs> Oh, I'd rather just see a test, probably break new lows or retest to the lows of today, which is actually what I'm hoping for in an ideal world. A retest of the lows. Did you guys see uh, any cruise line stop? Uh, cruise lines. Yeah. <clears throat> How are they doing? Doing shit. Absolute shit. Yeah. Oh my God, fifty bucks! Fucking terrible. I'm I'm honestly thinking about taking forty five dollar puts on uh, Royal Caribbean. RCL, yeah. I RCL. Hear that. Yep. Yeah. Well, they came out with that news of telling everybody not to go on cruises and shit, and it's like, fuck, you just wipe out that fucking industry. The whole industry, uh, right? 
Yeah. Yeah, but people are gonna do the same thing pretty soon with jet with airlines. Watch, airline is gonna be the next thing. I I. I still get bailed well, out. Tra- travel in general is just getting hammered. It's, it's yeah, it's getting hammered because of this whole thing. yeah. But uh, the airlines haven't have. I feel like they haven't like you know experienced the full effect of it as as the cruise liners did because the cruise liners were actually there was actual an actual coronavirus case direct like you know directly related to a cruise liner. Right. I well, keep losing my fucking car in the parking lot. Oh, up in California, right? Yeah, they had a couple of them. They had one up north in San Francisco, and they had one in Long Beach. Yep. Both with mm-hmm. Corona on them? Well, they, they said the one up... Uh, well, then there's one in Washington, I think, too, but they haven't found any positive cases, but they they had someone come off of one of them that uh, was sick, so they were testing them, but now everybody's probably... I know they all want to get tested now, but because they're, they're saying that on the news that we need to be tested so that, uh, you know, we can find out if we've got something or not. But they don't have tests, you know, play, uh, test kits and shit. And New York State is actually the same thing. Um, I, I remember reading something that they, they asked for more test kits because they don't have sufficient uh, sufficient amount of test kits. Fucking crazy. Oh, 280 on the spot. I didn't even see this. Fucking down 31 bucks on the contract. This bounce. Oh, 281. Crazy. I suspect we see like a... <clears throat> what happened? You're going to have to have a bounce. Somewhere. Yeah, I honestly think if it bounces, it'll retest 282, and then that'll be the true... Make it or break it point. I'm thinking can... 285 at least. That's in 281 here. Damn, there it goes cutting out again. I just re downloaded the app thinking everything was all good. Voice? Yeah, I don't know why. It keeps doing it, man. I've been having this problem for a while.
Shit, I know it's fucking halted again. Damn, really? Okay. I'm like looking at it, and I'm not. No shit, nothing's happening. Okay. <laughs> Waiting for some something to move. Oh shit! Oh, well, that's the price I like. Twelve fifty ish. It went down at 9.37. Damn, boys, is it looking like a bloodbath today or what? I can't concur if it looks like a bloodbath, so I was coming in to ask y'all's opinions. I think they're trying to bandage it up. Trying yeah. to sew some wounds. Yeah. Shit was crazy. So isn't the last time some shit like this happened was like 2008? And we all know what happened in 2008. That's correct. Question is, where does Spy Retrace do? Huh, hopefully where it fucking, before it dropped. That'd be pretty sweet. Tell you what. That's exactly kind of what I'm thinking. That's exactly kind of what I'm thinking. <laughs> that yeah. sentence is funny. I mean, I am thinking it's gonna... Yo, who's down to help me mass produce fucking hand sanitizer and sell that shit for $30 a bottle? My wife knows how to make that shit. Yeah, my mom just... Yeah, you gotta get like some aloe vera to make it jelly. It's all kinds of shit. But dude, fucking sell it for $30 a bottle, you buy the materials for like five bucks. Right. Just because everyone's in like a stupid panic right now. I hope they know that the mortality rate is like 2%. Right. And fucking, they're just going crazy. <laughs> media. They're, they're fucking doing that because they're liberal media that's trying to fucking... Trying to scare them. That's the market. They don't care about the fucking world or anything. They just want fucking... They want to... Yeah, they want to blame it on Trump. They don't even care if the whole world goes broke. It fucking makes them happy. Right, as long as it fucking puts uh, cookies in their jar, they don't give a fuck. It's a fucked up world we live in, man. I'm just hoping for four more years, you know? It's a cold, cold world. Nick, you missed your calling. Hop your ass on fucking X Factor, dude. The hell is that? You don't know what X Factor is? Come on. Yeah, like like American Idol and shit. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> Come on, Nikki. He said, "No, no, no, not today. Not today, Satan." No, sir. I really need to get a long for my headset. I want to be able to walk around my room with it on. I just need to get a wireless one. <sighs> so has anyone been profitable today? Or has anyone taken any trades? Or has everyone just been chilling? Uh, I made a few bucks. There you go. Oh, we're back on with the Inos live again. With the what? God damn it. Of course they halted going up and now it's going down. Fuckers.
My friend's got a girlfriend and he hates that bitch. Anybody know that song? <laughs> yeah, of course. Because that's like literally the only lyric that I know what the fuck's the song called because it sounds like a dank ass song. <laughs> Do you know what? Uh, I'm trying to think that, so... Um, I'm just going to type my friend and uh, girlfriend. Oh, oh I know. Offspring. Think of the name of it. It's Offspring. Offspring? Why don't you get a job? Yep. Yo, remember when the sprinkler was a dance, dude? <laughs> Who did that corny shit in the club? You get slapped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who are you fucking, Carlton? Are you Carlton? I'm doing the fucking Carlton, man. I'm going an American Idol based on you. What you said. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I won't pay. Yeah, I won't. <laughs> Yeah, I was correct in my thesis. That song is the shit. Now, the question is, y'all fuck with um, System of a Down. That's the question right there. Toxicity in my city? Yeah, what a BYOB motherfucker. Yeah, I like uh, System. I was a bigger fan of Rage. You fuck with them? Fuck yeah, dude. Rage Against the Machines? Yeah. Fuck yeah. They're doing a tour. You're lying to me right now. No, ch check it out. It's stupid expensive to get tickets, though. Oh, that's fucking bullshit. Yeah, it's really expensive. <clears throat> Hang on. Dude, like, okay, so since I've been looking at, like, um, I pulled up, I clicked on this one ad for this, uh, experimental, like, stat, I was telling you about it, stat chat, for, uh, yeah. investing before they become an IPO, and, um, fucking, now I'm getting, like, 30 million of the fucking things, but they all suck. Where are you heading? I want to get out. Five. Oh, Oh, please tell me you're coming to San Diego. Kiss me. Please tell me you're coming to San Diego. No, you faggot. You're in Glendale? Oh, buck 54. That's not bad, though. Oh, my God. 412? Oakland, Portland, Tacoma. Damn. That sucks. Ottawa, Canada. 
Yo, the tickets range from like 416 to 170. Just I guess it depends on where you're at. <clears throat> Oh, uh, Netflix tried recovering and then got rejected at the 352.
Bad, how did you turn my light on my... Bad. So, hey, so okay, uh, Friday I bought uh, a debit spread on Apple. I bought two seventy-seven fifties, two seventy-fives. Um, so my question is, would it be a good idea to like sell like a two sixty-two, two sixty for like seventy credit, and then I'd have a free trade and a max profit of, or I'd have a guaranteed ten bucks, and then, uh, you know, like. Would that be, do, you, do you follow me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh, let me write it down real quick because I gotta visualize it. Okay. Because the problem is, if you have two that you sold, 
you're gonna be responsible for one. Um, See, because like I have the debit spread that's gonna cover me, and it's in the money right now. Like they're both good. Like I'm, I should be at max profit if it stays here. I'm all right. Like, so what do you what do you got again? The two seventy seven fifties, two seventy five debit spread for Apple expires this week, and I paid sixty bucks for it. Is that okay. a put or a call? Puts. So you got a put spread, right? Right. So you right. sold the sold the uh, two seventy seven and bought the two seventy five, right? No, no, no. That it's a debit spread. I, I sold the two seventy five, bought the two seventy seven fifties. Okay. So well, that'd be that'd be a credit spread then, not a debit spread, right? Because you should have sold, you should have bought the uh, one closest to the you're money. You're right. You're right. I'm a dummy. You're right. My bad. It's a yeah. So what you said first is correct. I have a debit spread. Okay. So you bought the two seventy seven fifty. You sold the two seventy fives. Correct. Now I'm trying to see if it. So I paid sixty bucks. So if I sold the, because now the the two sixty two fifties and the two sixties are it's a seventy dollar spread. So if I sold that for seventy bucks, you know, wouldn't my top ones cover it? If it dropped that low, I understand I'd have to cover. You but, can't. You just got to remember that when you have two options that you've sold that are out. If you just sell, like, if you just sell the two sixty two fifty. One of those, one of those is going to give you a big buying power reduction. But if it hit one of those, they're going to call you. They're going to put it to you because you have basically a naked. Uh, you have one that's naked on the but sell what, side. What if I sell the credit? What if I sell a credit spread instead? Yeah, you could do that, but then you got basically a huge. You have like a huge iron condor for um, between that two seventy five, two seventy seven, and the two sixty two. Yeah, so that's so you so that's what I'm trying to understand. So that wouldn't be very smart. Like I was just thinking maybe I could take the credit. That way I'd have ten dollars in credit no matter what. And wouldn't my max loss only be the two fifty? But wouldn't that that top one cover the bottom? It should. I mean, and and for the most part, it would. But the problem would be is if it moved further down to that one that you sold. Right, then I would lose, but I really wouldn't lose anything. It should cover for the most part, it, you what, know. But you could, so you, so you still making a bearish spit on Apple? You still expect the stock to go down? Yeah, I do, uh, but I don't. I, I mean, it could fucking bounce. I don't. Well, know. this is I, what I, I would do. I would look at the calls and I would sell a call credit spread. I did that this morning with XLK. So if you, so if, if you sell a call credit spread, that's saying that you're bearish on the stock. And then when that when it doesn't reach that call that uh that uh price by the end of the week or end of the month or whenever you buy it for that volatility is going to go that that iv is going to collapse on it you're going to lose you're going to gain all that intrinsic value and then that thing you don't even have to sell you just let it expire worthless right okay and that, way, that way you could keep your put spread put debit spreads on still making money until you decide to sell it but if you sell a call credit spread on apple Right now, there's no chance that stock's going to move up 50 bucks in a week or even two weeks. Not with all the shit going on. Right. Okay. So, so find a good spread that's maybe two or three dollar. You know, make two or three hundred bucks off of it. Right. Um, on the call side, but sell a call credit spread. So you're going to sell the call that's closest to the money, and you're going to buy the one that's further out of the money. Right. Yeah, I get that part. Okay. So yeah, that's I what I would checking. do. That way, you can keep the. If you still think it's going to go down, you can still keep your debit spread on the put side, and you can still make a bearish bet by selling the calls on the upside. Yeah. Okay. I just was like, I'm trying to figure out how to cover myself the most because I don't want to, you know, get a big bounce and then screw me. But if I can find one that's further enough out of money, it's not too too big of a deal. I'll look at some premiums. Yeah, look at the premiums on it. I would say right now, two or three dollars should be pretty easy to collect um, per spread. But with Apple, you might get more than that. But uh, I would definitely look on the call side. That's the better way to do it. And then you don't have to sell your put at all. Right. Okay. All right, man. I appreciate you. Yeah, no problem, man. All right, man. Good luck. All right. Bye. Bye.
all right 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 uh we're gonna wrap it up for today got a little distraction uh just life and living basically <laughs> on here let's check our stream let's test our stream here three seconds behind on the stream not bad not bad at all not bad at all <laughs> all right we're gonna wrap it up uh we took a loss today uh had to set some stops and got slammed but it's okay uh another day another dollar we wrap up the uh, live stream here uh stick around a little bit later on for the um uh hot pick of the day a little bit later on but for today i am loser. you're a loser are you feeling sorry for yourself well you should be because you are dirt you make me sick you <laughs> big baby <laughs> yep no 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 market gives a lot of opportunities every day so we'll see what happens it seems like it wants to push up now they're gonna prop it up everything uh popping up today blasting off last and also hopefully you guys got on the right side of the trade today and uh we'll see you later on for the hot pick i'm gonna wrap it up here mark easy aka the DJ Day trader signing on out of this live stream reminding you plan your trade trade your plan and stay green you know what i mean until uh, the hot pick later on aloha